Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. I know you guys are a fan of big warships with loads and loads and loads of guns, and this scenario should be right up your alley. It is a US floating fortress that's going to take on an entire Japanese invasion fleet. Enjoy. This scenario is made by Gabriel, the Great American Floating Fortress. The year is 1940. In an attempt to save money on defending America's far-flung colonial possessions in the Pacific, the US Navy has turned to a brand new sort of vessel, a Grand Floating Fortress. With a displacement of over 120,000 tons and the thickest armor that can still float, these slow beasts are intended to replace entire fleets. Their technology is second to none, and by some standards even futuristic. You will take control of one of these vessels at the mouth of Manila Bay as a sizable Japanese fleet approaches. You must design and claim victory with the mightiest fort to ever float. Nation to play, United States, and you get access to 1940s tech level. I'm going to be building one battleship, but he says please click unlock before entering the ship designer so you can have the biggest hulls and mark five 18 inch guns. You'll need them. This ship must also have maximum amount of armor possible and the lowest possible top speed. I'm fighting against the Japanese and they get 5 battleship, 3 battle cruisers, 2 heavy cruisers and 9 destroyers. I have a starting range of 30,000 meters. Victory condition. The floating fortress must not sink. Victory is achieved by defending Manila until the Japanese retreat are sunk or 6 hours have passed. This is going to be a weird ship. Because in a way it is not even a ship. So it's supposedly the heaviest that it can be. It's also the slowest that it can be. Jesus, 15 knots. Um, I imagine the floating fortress wouldn't have a lot of range. But it would have a lot of bulkheads. Now let's see if I can save some weight on engines. A bit. Diesel 2 is best. 51,000. Oil. Forced boilers. Uh, this is going to help with turret traverse and water pumping and ship repairs. Yes, I think that that's what a fortress would have. Would a fortress necessarily have an advanced propeller shaft? Mm, it helps with engine repair. Nah, it's alright. Alright, group 4. Barbette 4, Anti-Torpedo 5, Triple Hull, Reinforced Bulkheads, Anti-Flooding 3, Citadel, Pfft, Turtleback, or All or Nothing. A fortress, arguably, has walls, not a roof. So Plunging Fire would still be vulnerable... Or would still be a threat to a fortress. Let's go with a turtle back armor scheme. Okay. Um, here goes. I need to have the most armor on this ship that I can get. So that means... I think 100 inch of armor. Shit, there goes my displacement. <laughs> really? <laughs> 100 inches of armor. Yeah. Uh, that's going to put me at 123,000 tons. And I still have to add any kind of main components. Let's go for 15 inches of belt armor. Uh, oof. That too is a bit tricky to work with. Because now I still probably won't be able to fit my main armament. All right. I'm probably going to run with triples. How much real estate do I have? Could I fit a superimposed? No. Ship is massively overweight. Huh? Oh. I was wondering why that didn't fit. I was trying to put a sideline gun there. Alright, it's only 147,000 tons. So it's not going to be... 
exactly 15 inches of armor. Funnel. Let's go with the Uber funnel. Why, why do I have an Uber funnel? Isn't this supposed to be a US battleship? No, that's a bit weird. The whole setup feels decidedly German, but at least the flag is US. Weird. All right, eight inch triple armor or triple barrels. That's gonna keep the lighter ships away, or such is the plan. What the hell? I have an off to wait, have to wait offset with guns this far forward. That's rich. Hmm. Better. Eight inch guns. It's a floating fortress after all. But it's probably going to be more akin to a meme ship at this rate. Now, 8-inch guns are great, but they need to be fed. Increased ammo complement. Super heavy shells. Propellant. High TNT. Uh, let's go for auto reloaders and electro-hydraulic turrets. That means I'm going to have to do even more about the weight. Regeneration 2 radar. Long range rangefinder. Torpedoes are not going to be part of this design. Acoustics. Are acoustics worth it? Hold on. Is this the hall I should be using? One hundred twenty-five thousand tons. The unlock is on. Unlock all nations' halls. For a selected year of your fleet. Yeah, sure, but I think it also unlocks everything. Because I have several super battleship designs. Let's see, the resistance is 105, and pretty much goes straight down from there. So yeah, this is the design that I should be running with. Weird. It really feels like I'm using German towers. Uh, as far back as you can. Centerline, 18, triple. Ideally, I want to have these on the barbette. Reason being, then I can still add guns, add, or, well, close and around them. I'm going to try and keep this thing bow in most of the time. And that way, hopefully, it'll be effective against torpedoes and still be able to use all of these guns. So I want to have the enemy about there or about there. That's the plan. Uh, I have to use the stat or change the stats again. There is a lot of room on this deck. Probably not enough. Hmm. Okay, once again, up the protection to full, Antitroporido 5, Barbette 4, Krupp 4, uh, range to medium, displacement to full, shafts, 2, aux 4, check, 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 reinforced bulkheads, maximum bulkheads, Citadel, number 4, Anti-Flood 3, Propellant was high TNT, increased ammo complement, super heavy shells, generation 2 radar, advanced... No, I don't even need a radio whatsoever. Although I imagine it is handy to communicate with your ship. Acoustics 3, stereoscopic 5, reload to max, check, check, check. Okay, add that funnel. I definitely picked the US. I still don't know why I'm using a German ship here. But I'm just going to run with it. Eight inch, eight inch, eight inch. Now I have a four weight offset. Surprise, surprise. 
The thing is, I still need to add a ton of armor to this behemoth. And that's not going to be easy to do. Because I still want more guns. I imagine I cannot use any secondary barbettes here. Mm. I can sort of fit this one here, but that's not quite what I have in mind. Because it's going to block the, the third turret. Um, put some more five inch guns on there. I really hope that the enemy DDs are going to come to me, otherwise I won't be able to chase them down. Because this thing can only do 15 knots. It's not supposed to hunt anything down. 20 inch, 20 inch, whoops, slightly overweight. That saves me 5 tons. This is as far back as I can put it, right? Yeah. Uh, put that to 15. It's going to be very hard to work with a ship this heavy, this large, and still give it a lot of armor. It has to be protected by all of these things because it is simply not able to get out of the way. So without the ability to get out of the way, I'm going to have to eat torpedoes. Which are not going to be stopped by the armor, that's for sure. Uh, cut that in half. Still too heavy. 18 inch. Still too heavy. 17 inch. Nope. 16. Nope. Jesus. Really? My fear is that plunging fire is going to come right down through the deck and cause a lot of damage. And if that happens, I won't really have a good defense against it. 16 inch turret armor, 16 inch turret top armor, 6 inch armor on the deck. This does mean that the enemy is going to have to come close, but I don't know if they will. On the other hand, their maneuverability, or sorry, their accuracy is dreadful because they're so old. And because they are so old, they probably don't have the accuracy unless they get close. I guess that's going to have to be the saving grace of this ship. All right, enough talk. Let's get this thing into the fight. It's... <laughs> She's way too big for the dry dock. Look at all these 8 inch. This is how you do not design a ship. Boilers are still natural. Um, yeah, well, I don't intend on going anywhere in a hurry. So my engine efficiency doesn't really matter. Enemy spotted... Uh, there. Range of the target, a comfortable 23 kilometers. Uh, <laughs> slow her down to half speed at a whole nine knots. My turning circle is 471 meters, right, for a ship this size. My goodness, that is a floating fortress, I'll give you that. Fire. 11 in or 11 percent chance to hit whoa already at 20 clicks what are we even targeting oh this guy what on earth is that triples 15 barrels on a ship, with 8 inch on top of it, probably. Impressive ship. Are they all like that? Yeah, pretty much. 
Japanese are out in force. I imagine this might be a battle cruiser. And a fairly impotent battle cruiser, by the way, with that one funnel down there in the middle. Like, this battle cruiser cannot have a good high speed and a good engine efficiency at the same time. It just doesn't work. Um, fortunately, I'm not seeing any torpedo tubes. Doesn't mean they don't have them. Could be underwaters. Hello. Ooh. Three, seven. Hello, I was counting. Three, seven, and then another four or something. What I do hope is that the enemy is not going to just sit there and wait for me to blast them to pieces. But it doesn't look terribly promising. They're sort of coming this way, but they don't really seem to be in a hurry. Twenty clicks out. Chance to hit just dropped to one point two. What are you trying to hit then? Because it's definitely not anything big. There, thirteen percent. That's better. They're coming this way. Ooh, that looks close. And it looks to be nearly plunging fire as well. Incoming return fire from the Japanese warship. Ooh, sorry about that. Interesting how that fire subtly erupted on the stern. Maybe I need to start turning a bit more. Because I might be exposing the side of the ship too much. Although at this rate it's probably plunging fire that's going to kill me. If anything. <laughs> she does change course pretty quick. I'll give her that. What? Look at the damage here. That's what you get with exceptionally accurate 18-inch shells. She's already flooding. I haven't even properly identified her yet. But at this rate, if she doesn't stop that flooding, we won't see what she has stats-wise before she goes down. Anyway, that battleship is pretty much out of the fight. We've got an incoming heavy cruiser. Target that with secondaries. I gotta see this. Because now all of those... All of those 8-inch guns are opening up. That is a big battery. A big volume of fire. Prepare to fire. Glorious. That's what I want to see. Look at that. All of these shells coming for one cruiser. Uh, no, not a cruiser. Destroyer. That's why my chance to hit so bad. Okay. It does seem like those destroyers are going to come for me. If they are... Then I might have to take evasive action. Even with my sonar, I'll see them coming, the torpedoes. If they have the range, that remains to be seen. Let's speed this up a bit and let the battleship do her job for a while. Still trying to pummel this battleship into the ground. Five-inch guns also joining. But I think the eight-inch fire is far more dangerous to these destroyers. Range, 10-5. Identification, 98%. 99. 100. Torpedo range, 8.2. You still need to get a lot closer, dude. Akikaze. You need to get a lot closer. This guy is moving very quickly and using his speed as armor, because armor he doesn't have. So he's going... We hit, we die. Period. There's no no coming back from getting hit. Now, can we sink the Setsu? 
with her 15 inch guns and standard bulkheads. 18 and a half inches, oh, sorry, 18 and a half knots of speed. She is not a fast ship. I do want to sink her though, because I think that she might try to escape. Or at least she's going to try and fall back in the formation. Now it looks like in the meanwhile, the cruisers are starting to really get noisy. And uh, what are they firing with? Are these the battle cruisers by any chance? Or weren't there any? 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. What you got? 34,000 tons. You're a battle cruiser with 16 inch guns. And you do have some armor, but it's not very spectacular. Casemates, no torpedoes. Good. Alright, Setsu is effectively out of the fight. Let's target... Oh, Ontake is actually getting quite close at 13 clicks. I have to turn port a little more, otherwise I won't be able to it get those guns honor. on target. I don't know what to say. Oof. Thank you for that, random fishy. Okay. Can we put this thing down? Accuracy is decent. I don't really know if the 8 inch are going to be able to pen the armor on this battle cruiser, though. She's 12 clicks out. That's 7.6 inches of penetration. No. Maybe if she gets a bit closer, and I go through the belt armor, the belt extended, that is, I'll be able to put her down. Oh, beautiful. That's the ship almost at half structural integrity. More importantly, she's flooding. And she has just taken damage to all of her engines. And rudder. How good are you at fighting that? Many bulkheads. And... Uh, reinforced bulkhead 2, anti-flood 3. Yeah, but if you take on this much water this quickly... And more importantly, your speed's gone. Come on, I do want her gone. Before I end up with a whole bunch of half-health ships as enemies. That'd be pretty bad. At least this ship is going to have some serious damage and stability issues. Structural integrity on the Virginia is now down to 90%. What is the damage? How is it happening? Uh, I'm getting hit. Mid-deck penetration. Yep, it's plunging fire. Pretty much as I was worried about. It's a hell of a ship. But... The problem lies in her ability to not defend herself against plunging fire. And if you want to add more deck armor... You have to bring a bigger ship. Even bigger, that is. Now, can we finally put the Ontaka down? No. We're missing. I don't want the Akikaze here anyway. She's still doing 8.2. Yeah, 8.2. She's fine. Torpedo range. What's the speed on the Ontake? 26 knots. And slowing. So what's your excuse? Why are you not hitting, Virginia? There we go. The destroyer took a big chunk. Bit more and she floods. Nope, she's fighting it. Maximum bulkheads on a DD? Impressive. There. Destroy the main gun. Fire. 
Akikaze is in a terrible shape. This thing barely needs to sink. Look at this, the stern. She almost seems to be underwater anyway. More fire. More fire. Flooding. Good night, Akikaze. Down. Alright, next target needs to be the Fumizaki. Because she's getting awfully close. 8.9. She needs to be at 8.2 if she wants to actually hit me with a torpedo. Flooding on the Antake. Buoyancy is dropping. It almost looks like Miyuki is trying to smoke her up. That's probably more of a formation mistake than an actual intent. Eight kilometers out. That means that the Fumizaki is in range. There goes the Ontake, finally. Next target, Banjo. And the Fumizaki as secondary target. How are the guns? Looking good. Looking pretty good. All right. Fumizaki still hasn't torpedoed. Oh, she's still not in range. She wandered back out of it. 8-2. It looks like the Banjos took a good beating. At least the start of it. She's flooding our two bow compartments. And if I can just slow that ship down, that's the start of her demise. I'm starting to take some serious damage, though. Down to 79%, and I still have to sink five battleships. I thought the battleships were less of a threat. The destroyers and the battlecruisers more, because the battlecruisers have 16 inch shells. The battleships have 15 inch guns. But they do have a lot of them. That's 15 barrels per ship. Times five. So I'm getting hit very often. Still no torpedo launches here. Good. Is that battle cruiser limping off yet? No, not yet. Not yet. The DD sure is. Alright, DD down. Next target, Fuyutsuki. Main target, Kirishima. Come left a bit. Beautiful hit on the Kirishima. Uh, cut that ship in half. She's at 50% and dropping. Thanks to having, well, half the ship on fire. And the bottom half flooding. That'll slow her down. And I think that the other battlecruiser is not doing too hot either. Although she has repaired a fair amount of the damage. And recovered from her flooding. So she still needs to be a target. Kirishima is flooding. It's the bow compartment, isn't it? Yeah, point three, gotcha. All right, final battle cruiser. That'll take the sixteen inch out of the fight. Seventy-one percent structural on the Virginia. The main damage. Is mid deck, stern deck, goodbye, Fuyutsuki. Uh, bow deck extended, everything is deck. Oh, even a, a penetration through the secondary gun on the Virginia. That's more serious. Next destroyer dead. Let's target the secondaries on the banjo. Let's see if I can put her down with the 8 inch guns. Because she doesn't have that much armor. 7-6. And I just need to punch a few more holes in that hole and make her flood. To make sure that the 18-inch guns can actually hit her. Virginia is still lumbering along at a casual 6 knots. There goes Banjo. Alright, that's her battle cruisers done. Next target, Shioda. 
battleship. And seemingly the coordinator of that group. Oh, the Setsu is falling back with the heavy cruisers. I was wondering where those were. The Aso and the Tone. Secondary fire is working away on the Shimakaze. Keeping her at bay. Now what they should have done was just send in all the destroyers in one big push and torpedo me from every which way they can. And since they're not doing that, they're making it very easy for me to pick off the destroyers one by one. If you're fighting something this big, you need to sacrifice your destroyers quickly. Torp the target, punch a big hole in it, let it flood, and even with anti-flood 5, or anti-torp 5 and anti-flood 3, a ship my size will go down two torpedoes. It's just going to take you a few more torpedoes. I'm hoping that we can put down the Chiyota fast. Fire and flooding twice. Very nice. What are you doing? Not stellar. But her main guns are still firing. Thirty-four. Structural integrity is not taking any more damage from the fire. And it looks like the flooding is under control. She's a very accurate damage dealer, by the way. For a 1924 ship, to deal damage with about 10% of your shells is impressive. I've been dealing only 3.2% chance, or 3.3% of my hits. No, shots have actually hit. But I'm blaming the destroyers and the, the secondary armament for that. No, I still have plenty of those secondary shells left. Chioda is still the main target. Chioda seems to be taking a battering. And that is from the 8 inch guns. 8 inch, 5 inch, 5 inch. Those guns really are doing their damage. Everything's still operational. Looks like this one's out, but the rest of them are all good. 18 inch shelf being prepared. Oh, they're smoking up again. Come on, put down a Chiyoda. I want to sink at least one battleship. At least this one might not be firing anymore, because he's still trying to get her turrets around. And she's trying to figure out a different spot in the formation. She's still flooding. I didn't hit her recently, right? No. She's just still flooding. Interesting. Another 18-inch salvo flies in. And causes more flooding. This time amidships. Back to times 5. Shimakaze range is 7-7. Seven, seven. She is now very much in torpedo range. Throw everything at the Shimakaze. Get this ship to turn around. Or to sink. Whichever happens first. Because I am broadside to the Shimakaze. And she just torpedoed me. Uh, I don't know how fast these things are going to speed up, but I imagine it's not going to be nearly fast enough. I'm going to eat a torpedo. Probably more than one. Here they come. Is that the only one that launched? For now. Ow. How bad? Uh, 18 damage? Yeah. I got hit for 18, 18, 17, and 18. So the... The overpen... Or the, the pens from the battleships are more damaging at 26. I'm fine. But I don't know what the Miyuki is going to do here. Yeah, exactly. And that's what she's going to do here. She's going to try and torpedo me. Returning fire with as many secondaries as I can muster. 
But the more I turn starboard, the more difficult that's going to be. And the rest of the DDs I don't think are making any kind of actual moves on me yet. It's going to hurt a bit. About 100 points of damage, but the Virginia is down to half health. Can we finally get rid of that battleship, please? Thank you. Chiyoda's down. Target, Setsu. Flooding. Next. Shimakaze. Ship's on fire, but I expect that to go out very quickly. There is Shimakaze's death. Excellent. Shirayuki. The rate at which these th guns dial in is impressive and scary. We're just jumping right up to 15%. There's the Setsu down, that's the battleship. Ship down, but... Not without sending me a parting gift. At least this one's out of range. For the moment. Uh, main target should be the Tone or the Aso over here because the other ones I'm not really set up for properly. Oh, I might dodge the majority of it. Just eat three. Four. Flooding on the Samidare. I'm hoping to sink that guy quickly. Because if they do make another push on me, I might not be able to avoid that. The Asa is just casually moving along. Doesn't really care about anything. Sure, she's getting shot at. But she's just outside of her own range. The Tone is in range. And is firing pretty damn accurately. And then again, I'm a huge target. In the Virginia. Seriously, a massive ship. Two and a half percent chance to hit a heavy cruiser. Oh, but I did hit. Probably an overpen? Yeah, main tower overpen. That knocked out her accuracy. Alright, so they got two DDs left, and your heavy cruisers don't have any torpedoes. I'm gonna try and move in. And so far as this thing wants to make a turn. Damage against Samadare is enough. Next target, Shimakaze. Big salvo flying out to meet the Asso and misses entirely. Good damage, Nokaze. She's suddenly down to 40% buoyancy. I don't know what happened to her. Maybe it had something to do with the five inch guns hitting her successfully. In quick succession as well. Ooh. Now we're talking. Also, is flooding. Many bulkheads, but it looks like the flooding is too much. And she's down. Next target, Tony. Secondary is on the DDs. Because it is still in range, the Nokaze. I really don't want that thing to get any kind of closer. That should make sure it won't ever get closer. Alright, all secondaries. Target Tone. My rudder isn't damaged, but it feels like the ship just won't turn. Tone is now being subjected to a withering barrage of both 8 inch and 5 inch shells. This is what it looks like from her perspective. Just a constant stream. Keeps going. But it's not very effective. Point nine. Why? Overpen. 
No, that was not it. I think that was damage blocked by armor. So it doesn't actually register. I hope that I can take this thing down with one or two good shells from the 8 inch, uh, from the 18s, and then make my way through the last couple of battleships. You know what? Let's just target the battleships because they're way easier to hit. Oh, that helps. What was that? That was an 18 inch shell against Tony. Really? I click away for a second and you get hit? Massively? Interesting. All right, Virginia, let's wrap this up. We got some battleships to sink, and then we are done. Tana seems to be flooding. No, she's not flooding. She's fighting it. And in the meanwhile, the Zuikaku is getting hit. Yep, Zuikaku wasn't always a battleship or a, a, an aircraft carrier. Apparently. She's actually running out of shells? Oh, this might be the AI bug again. They have accuracy, they have shells, the guns are on target, and they just won't fire. It's not like they're on save mode either, because in save mode I think it fires if you have something like 50... Sorry, 15... No, is it 5% chance? Something to that extent? So one ship just deterred an entire Japanese fleet. And uh, this fortress is still here at about 50% structural integrity. This fortress doesn't care about anything. The most amount of damage came from 15 inch guns. It's all the battleships. See, this is what I mean. They're just sitting here. She has an excuse for not shooting because she has serious battle damage. The Yashima doesn't. She's only running a little lower on the amount of shells that she's carrying, but that's it. And I imagine she's in range too. Yeah, she's definitely in range. 16.8. She can fire out to a range of 21.3 if she wants to. But I think that's it. She doesn't want to. More flooding. Even doing damage with the secondaries against the Zui... What is that? The... Shokaku. <laughs> the hell? Have you no armor, sir? Well, not in the conning tower, you don't. The HE shells are setting fires all over the place. I think the real threat is going to be the 18s, because... The ship's slow. She's probably not doing more than 18 knots. If that. Yeah, 18. 18, 5. 18 inch guns are reloaded. And fire. Shukaku. 91%. And that was just the secondaries? Yeah, it's the secondaries and the fire. Impressive. There we are. That was definitely an 18 inch shell. 651 damage. Engines damaged, rudder damaged, fire, flooding. Wrap up time. Got a 40%, 30%. It's still weird that they just don't shoot. Range to Yoshima has now been reduced to 15.3. She's still not doing anything. She's just sitting there. She's pretty much waiting for her demise. At the hands of the Virginia. 
That's sad. That's a sad way for the ship to go. Either fall back or engage, but don't just sit there and wait for me to kill you. Doesn't feel like a good sport. Shokako seems to be falling in behind. Oh, there we go. Yoshima's firing. But she had more than 14% chance to hit, it seems. She's going to keep firing? Nope. She stopped again. One volley from Yoshima, and that was it. Oh, there we go. Now she fires again. Maybe she's just at or near the 14 percentage marker. Maybe that's what's going on. Now she's at 12 and she doesn't fire. There we go. Yashima is on fire. Flooding. I'm not exactly sure what Shokaku is doing. Again, she's not firing. They need to get this, this thing higher. This... Don't shoot unless you have X percentage chance to hit. Oh, I can set it on my ship, but that won't work. Yoshima is toast. There we go. She's gone, leaving just the Shokaku. This is just such... Well, I'm going to say it's a, it was a f an unfair fight. And I wonder if I can do better. If I were to take control of the Japanese fleet, could I do better? Could I sink this behemoth? The thing is, we'll never know. Because I cannot save my ship design. And because of that, I'm just going to be left at the mercy of the AI if I tell them to design one battleship. For all I know, they build a 50,000 ton warship. And that's just a bit sad. Because it's simply not going to be me up against the Virginia. I cannot recreate this scenario in reverse. There we go. Flash fire and she's done. So that is a whole Japanese fleet. Defeated by one American floating fortress. Virginia. Job done.